come join me for a closet tour of my 10 item capsule wardrobe. Hi everyone, Jennifer here and welcome back to The Daily Connoisseur. A few days ago, I filmed a closet tour and this has been so highly requested and I thought that I would show you how my 10 item capsule wardrobe works for me, what I do, how I store my clothes, how I store my out of season clothes, what do I do with things like swimsuits and exercise clothes. I'm going to be answering all of that in today's video. So without further ado, let's check out my closet tour. This video is part of a clutter-free January, which was started by Dawn from The Minimal Mom. I'm going to leave a playlist for you down below. This week we are talking about clothing decluttering, and there's some really amazing YouTubers. Check out who is also doing this collab. So check out the playlist down below for more clothing decluttering inspiration. But I thought, you know, all of these ladies are going to be talking about clothing decluttering and I have hundreds of videos on the subject. So I thought I would just show you my closet and show you how I make it work for me. Now, there's a few things to keep in mind. My closet is huge. I understand that. Having said that, I haven't always had a large closet. When we lived in our first home, my closet was really small and I'm inserting pictures of it here. So I know what it's like to have very limited closet space. And throughout the video, you're going to see little tips and tricks on how you can make it work for you. But because my space is so large, I've had a lot of fun with decorating and allowing my clothes room to breathe. Even my storage options like the canvas bins, there's lots of room to breathe in there. So if I had a smaller space, I would absolutely consolidate everything and utilize um, storage under the bed or other storage solutions in order to make my wardrobe work for me. So let's jump into the tour. So as you walk in, I have this little setup here and I was using this to film when uh, I had a newborn baby and I had to hide in my closet literally in order to make a video. So this is this beautiful wallpaper that I still love. And if the lighting was better, I would do more videos in here. I have this painting here that used to belong to my grandmother. And then I'm sorry the exposure is so bright. I'm just trying to get it really bright in here so you can see because the light's dark, but these are my books. See if you can see that. There's Polish Your Poise with Madame Chic. So these are my books, Connoisseur Kids, my book in Japan, Mademoiselle Chic, and then uh, The Lost Art of Dress, which I wrote a blurb for, and of course my Victoria magazine. So this is what I have here. I also have my Keep Calm and Remain Classy poster, just to remind me. So up above, I have books and things like that. Um, so it's not really that organized. I could definitely build organization here with some more shelves. I just have books everywhere in the house and this is no exception. So I just have a lot of books there. So this is where I keep my core items right now and some extras. So I have hanging here the Mercy wraps that I love so much. They're so beautiful and I think they look nice. I like looking at them first thing as I walk in. I have my Lily Silk camisoles right here. This is a spring blouse that I will be bringing back and I've just started to hang it up because I might start wearing it for winter. I'm liking white. This is also, you know, my Lily Silk blouse, that as well. I have the gray wrap here, my brand new jumpsuit that I'm so in love with. I know it looks sad hanging in the closet, but it's so cute. Um, the Draper James dress, my Mercy um, beautiful sweater, and then I have some more jeans right here. Here I have some beautiful dressing gowns. That's the thing is when you have a smaller wardrobe, you can decorate your wardrobe, so to speak, um, as and really decorate it as more of a chic boutique, whereas you might not be able to do that if your closet is crammed with clothes. Down here I have a little stepping stool that I will pull out if I need to access the upper shelves. And I have a few folded t-shirts right here, my striped t-shirts, my mott and bow black t-shirt. There's a few more books there. I'm telling you there's books everywhere. And I don't have a shoe rack, so my shoes and slippers are hidden all around my closet, just in little alcoves, so they're out of the way. So I have some, my Thursday boots back there, and then my, um, my little slippers here. So I have those. Uh, also hidden behind this is a really pretty painting that I got off of eBay, and one day I will hang that up, but I have to fix the frame before I do that. Okay, so I have a few extra hangers right here. And then in this section of the closet right here, I have these beautiful silk scarves. These are so nice that I like to hang them up. These are from Monkiji. And 
Um, I do have a scarf container up there, but these are so nice that I hang them up and I don't want them, you know, in amongst the other kind of heavier scarves. These are my special occasion extras. So you all know this gorgeous red dress. That's from Lily Silk. The Sky Quarantine dress. These are for special occasions. I have my coats here, my winter coats, and most of these you have seen. My black J. Crew wool coat. This one uh, is from Anthropology. I always forget if it's Anthropology or if I got this from Garnet Hill. But I think this green one is Anthropology. BCBG plaid coat, my sky blue trench, this Christmassy coat from Garnet Hill. And then I have some dressing gowns here, um, plush necessities and flirt. Um, and I also have a terry cloth one as well. Now, what's in this bag? This is a lot of my special occasion wear as well. I have a few Diane von Furstenberg dresses in here, as well as my dress from the TEDx talk. Everyone always asks, where is that? I'm saving these dresses because I'm not through with them yet. But the Diane von Furstenberg dresses, um, I bought those when I was going to Japan for the television show both times, and I love them. They look sensational, and I, I think I might fit into them again, so I'm keeping those there. But I really hardly ever wear them, obviously. Okay, we're going to get to this in a moment. I know what you're thinking about this, but we'll get to that in just a second. Up here in the storage bins, because I only have one uh, dresser drawer, and this basically is undergarments, panties, bras, um, as well as stockings. This one right here, I'm not going to show you those obviously, but this one right here is my sleepwear drawer. So I have my Montel Intimates, you know, chemises, that beautiful silk pajama set from Lily Silk. I love this. This is the Lusa May nightgown. That's like one of my favorite ones. I'm going to do a video recapping my favorite nightwear and the silk Lily Silk dress. And then down below I have socks, stockings, fleece tights, that type of thing. Okay, so this is where I store the rest of my extras, and the extras comprise the things that round about your 10 item wardrobe. For example, in this bin right here, we have exercise clothes. This one right here is swimwear. So I've got all my bathing suits, swim cover ups, even sun hats, foldable sun hats in there. Um, I have more shapewear in this one. This one is like, you know, Spanks and things like that, which of course I'm not going to show you because that's weird. <laughs> but this, these are my scarves. I've got all of my pashminas, wool scarves, um, scarves for years. I probably could declutter my scarf um, basket. This right here is some of the seasonal things that I am putting away for the year. And I've discussed this on my channel. So these were the fall pieces like the Kate Kaysen skirt and the Everlane dress. Christmas just ended, so I am retiring the velvet dress until next time, and I'm just keeping them in here. Um, I should transfer these to the ones with the lid so that they don't get dusty. And then I also have that APC dress that I never got rid of because, I don't know, I have nostalgia that my girls might wear it one day, and I just love that dress. And then those two loft shirts down there. So I do keep things from prior wardrobes, but if I decide, you know, I'm really not going to wear the loft shirts this spring, then I will get rid of them. Oops, let me put this back. Okay, and up here I have one of my handbags. That was a gift from my in-laws. It's a gorgeous Meissen bag. And then I have sweaters and more sleepwear in this. So in these ones, you're gonna see all the cashmere sweaters and um, just all of that in these bins right here. And I keep a little lid on them. And I'll pull those down and put some B-roll uh, in here so that I don't have to juggle with the camera. All right, down here on the floor, I'm going to be doing a big handbag feature coming up soon. So that is the American Leather Company handbag. And then underneath that, I have some bags that just arrived from Taco Toscano. So I'm going to be featuring those. I can't wait. And then I have shoes here, Oliver Cabell driving shoes. And then these are shoes that my mother-in-law actually just released and she gave me a pair. So they are incredible. I love them. Also, these are just some special occasion wear shoes. Like these are my nice shoes, like the Jimmy Choo's, the Ferragamo's. And then my Oliver Cabell mules and my Thursday boots. I wear those on a obviously more regular basis. Okay, so I know what you're thinking about this right here. They're thinking, what is behind this curtain? What is she hiding back there? I know that this is full of 
clothes that she's hiding and she she says she has a 10 item wardrobe but she doesn't i know that's what you're thinking okay or at least that's what some people are thinking <laughs> but i'm going to show you what's behind this curtain basically this is a bunch of unsightly stuff i have some filming equipment like my o-ring light i have a hanging storage unit that is full of random things that i certainly need to go through things like gloves and pictures you'll see and then other items so the reason why I keep this up is because it's ugly and I don't really want to see it and I have to go through it. So we all have work to do, right? But this is what, this is what it looks like. Let's see if I could do this without all these flowers falling down. Okay. So this is what's hiding behind the curtain. So it's not more clothes, but I just think that this is really ugly, obviously, and I don't want to look at it. So I have my filming equipment. I've got my O-ring light and um, a little pole attachment for my tripod, another O-ring light down there. Back here I have the leftover wallpaper that I plan to line my drawers with. And then this is totally not organized, something I need to go through, but it holds right now a bunch of um, canvas bags that I use for shopping. I have a few things belonging to the kids in here. I have even my Daily Connoisseur ones in here. I have a doll hat that belonged to my Samantha. <laughs> In here, I have special occasion bags, like my evening clutches. Um, I have these gloves, which I never have occasion to use in California. And then I even have some family pictures that I need to file away. Look at this one from... Look at that one from back in the day. See, that's where I'm wearing one of the Diane von Furstenberg dresses there. Isn't that cute? So anyway, that's just stuff that I have to go through. Down here I have even more shoes. So these are just some dress shoes that I don't wear that much. I got my Jimmy Choo's and Ferragamo's there. And even some flashcards there. Underneath this thing, this is full of kids um, stuff. So I have like my children's, um, I have some decorations from their room, customizable decorations. And I do have even a few more shoes in there. I have some old London sole shoes in there but there's no clothes. So this is a computer bag. My daughter made me this, isn't that pretty? So actually I need to bring this out from behind the curtain and put it in a place where she can actually see it. Um, and then the sky dress that will be coming back for spring, I didn't want to fold it up. It obviously needs to be pressed, but I wanted to hang it up. Um, but because it's seasonal, I'm keeping it behind the curtain so it doesn't collect dust. And then over here, this is one of my special occasion extras. It's what I wore in my photo shoot for Victoria Magazine as well as a family photo shoot. And I have a few aprons back there as well. And then down here, this is where I keep my dirty clothes hamper. So I just keep this behind the door and that's it. And behind this is uh, some boots and it's really dark down there, rain boots and things like that. So that's why I keep it behind the curtain because it's ugly. So let me fix it and I will get back to you. Okay, there we go. I mean, obviously that's not ideal either, but until I organize that space properly and maybe figure out a different place to store my YouTube equipment, like perhaps the garage, that's what it looks like for now. So that is what it all looks like. And um, this is what my 10 item wardrobe looks like. Yours might look very different, but this is what works for me. And I just, I'm very happy with this system. So if you have any questions, please leave them down below. I hope you enjoyed my closet tour. I hope that it gave you inspiration to declutter your closet. You do not need a closet that is jam packed with clothes from all different seasons, all in there on the rack. At the very least, I recommend having your seasonal items out and storing away the unseasonal items. That will that will lessen the confusion when you get dressed in the morning. If you need some more closet decluttering motivation, check out the playlist down below for the clutter-free January. You can also check out my 10 item wardrobe playlist for more inspiration. I'm going to have an outfits of the week video this Thursday. So I hope you will subscribe and come back to my channel to view that video. Thank you so much for joining me today on The Daily Connoisseur. Keep calm and remain classy and I will see you next time. Bye everyone.